Welcome to STEM Professionals. In this video, we will discuss the problems and conceptual exercises of Chapter 2 from the book James S. Walker. So let's start with the video. So here's a squid which can move forward using a form of jet propulsion. And in this case, we have to consider that squid jets forward from rest with constant acceleration for 0 0.170 seconds. And for this time interval, it moves a distance of 0 0.179 meter. And after this, uh, squid turns off its jet and goes to rest with constant acceleration. And total distance covered is 0 0.421 meter and total time taken is 0 0.40 seconds. So let me show everything on the figure. So let this be the initial position where jet, where this squid started its motion. So x0 equals to 0 and here let it be x1 and uh, it started from rest. That means the velocity would be 0, initial velocity would be 0 and uh, it traveled to a distance of 0 0.179 meter so x1 is 0 0.179 meter and time taken to cover this much of distance is uh, 0 0.170 seconds and after this position the squid turns off its jet and comes to rest and let this be the position where it comes to rest let it be x2 and the total distance covered during the motion is given to be 0 0.421 meter so this total distance is 0 0.421 meter and total time is 0 0.40 seconds now there are two parts in the equation that we need to solve in the a part we need to find the squid's acceleration during the time it is jetting the squid is jetting for this time interval this point from this point to this point so let this be the motion one and after this uh, point, it turns off its jet and comes to rest with constant acceleration. So let this be the second motion. Now in both the part, in for the first motion also and for the second motion, we need to find the acceleration. A we need to calculate and here also A we need to calculate. So these are the two parts that we need to solve. Now uh, I'll be taking this direction to be our positive x direction and then we can solve this question. Okay. So uh, we'll be first applying this equation, which is x is equals to x naught plus v naught t plus half a t square to find the acceleration during the first motion. So I'm uh, applying this equation. Now uh, the final position is x1. Initial position x naught is zero, so this would be zero plus initial velocity v naught is also zero, so this is zero plus one over two acceleration let this be acceleration a1 and let this be the acceleration a2 so here we are applying this equation uh, for this time interval so this would be a1 multiplied with t1 and it's squared now from here we can write that a1 would be equals to 2 times x1 divided by t1 and it's squared now we can uh, put the values to find the answer so a1 is equals to 2 times now x1 we have 0. Point. 179 meter divide by t1 so t1 we have 0 0.170 seconds and its whole square now we can solve this by using a calculator and we'll get this value to be 12.4 meter per second squared so this would be the acceleration for the squid from this point to this point now after this point it shut off its uh, uh, jet so then we need to find the acceleration a2 so same equation we're going to apply but for this point from this point to this point so this x2 is the final position this in this case so we can write that x2 will be equals to now initial position would be this one x1 so x1 plus now velocity would be the velocity at this point this is v1 so v1 multiplied with t now time would be from this point to this point let the time be t2 so this is uh, t2 plus 1 over 2 acceleration is a2 and time is t2 and it's squared now we have x2 we have x1 
but we don't have the value for v1. So for that uh, we can use this equation v is equals to uh, v0 plus 80. So we, we are applying this equation for this one from this point to this point because we need to find v1 first. So this would become v1. This is v0 plus this would become a1 t1. So v0 we have 0, a1 we have calculated to be 12.4 and t1 we have 0 0.170 seconds. So this would be equals to 2.11 meter per second. Now we can put this value v1 here. So it will be equals to now x1 we have uh, 0 0.179 0 0.179 x2 we have this total distance would be x2 which is 0 0.421 0 0.421 meter plus v1 is 2.11 meter per second t2 now t2 this total time is 0 0.40 seconds so t2 would be equals to total time which is 0 0.40 minus this t1 which is 0 0.170 so this would be equals to 0 0.230 seconds so this is 0 0.230 seconds plus 1 over 2 now a2 we need to find and t2 is 0 0.230 seconds and its whole square now you can solve it for a2 and the value of a2 comes out to be as minus 9.20 meter per second square so this would be the answer for the b part now here you should note uh, you should note one thing that this value comes out to be as negative why it is negative because during this time interval uh, the the velocity is decreasing because it comes to rest here the velocity was v1 which is uh, 2.11 meter per second and here the velocity becomes zero because it comes to rest so that is why the acceleration comes out to be as negative so here you drop a glove from height h onto the fresh snow and then the glove shanks to a depth d before coming to rest so let me first show this uh, on the figure so this is the height h from where you drop this glove and since the, uh, the the snow was fresh so the glove shrink to a depth d so let this be the depth d so this is the whole scenario and now there are two parts in this equation that we need to solve in the a part we need to find the magnitude and the direction of glove as it reaches to snow so here it reaches to snow this is the initial position now one more thing i'll be taking this direction to be positive the downward direction so this is the initial position xi this is the intermediate position it will be second position and this is the final position now uh, we need to find the velocity at this position so for that we are going to apply this equation which is v square minus v naught square is equals to 2a delta x now for this motion between this between these two points initial velocity we have 0 so v naught is 0 so this term would be 0 and here the velocity becomes v2 this is what we have to calculate so v2 square is equals to 2 times now acceleration since this uh, this uh, glove is in free fall so acceleration would be positive g because we have taken the downward direction to be positive so multiplied with g and delta x in this case is h delta x means x2 minus xi which is h here so h so from here v2 will be equals to under root 2 g h so this is the velocity of the glove at this position the point it touches the snow so this is the answer for the a part and uh, the direction would be in the downward direction so direction would be downward for the velocity now next in the b part uh, we need to find the acceleration as it moves through the snow and we have to assume that acceleration remains constant okay so this is the b part now here the velocity becomes zero so let this be vf the final velocity which becomes zero now again we're going to apply this equation but for this time interval from point x2 to point xf so v final square minus v initial square is equals to 2 times a times delta x this is the equation 
Now final velocity becomes zero, so this would be zero. And here initial velocity means at this position. So initial velocity which is v2 which is under root 2gh so we can plug it here this is under root 2gh and its whole square is equals to 2 times a now delta x in this case is d so this would be d here now we can further we can solve it so a would be equals to this would become uh, minus 2gh divided by 2 times d so this one and this one would cancel and we'll get this value to be g times h divided by d. Therefore, the acceleration is equals to minus h over d multiplied with g. So this is the answer for the b part. Now here, what is this uh, negative sign denotes? It denotes that the acceleration uh, is in upward direction for this from between this point, this one and this one. So if you want to write the magnitude, so magnitude of acceleration would be h over d multiplied with g and the direction is in the upward direction.